see the fishies? Look at this cat. Should we do this thing then? I wonder what it is. <laughs> I think it's playing the game, Pussy Cat, and coming and fussing. That's close enough. You can use your dive watch to control the boy from there. Refresh me on the controls. Move the targeting circle around. Each sound will get louder when you are close to locking in on an animal's location. Wow. Going around, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's just tough. You're know, clicking in the dolphin for scat. I can't hear it though. I can hear it best right now. I can hear the sperm well. Whales here, Pussycat. All right, if you're okay, I'm going to start the live stream. Let's roll. Welcome to the OceanX live stream. I'm Dr. Marai Soto, and I'll be your eyes and ears on this expedition. I'm joined today by two colleagues. Hello, I'm Andre. Hello, everyone. I'm Irina. <laughs> Some bastard to the land in Babylon 5. Where are we going? We're going to go and see the fishes. I'm going to see. It's going to see the sperm well. Yeah. Looks like we've got our first singer. Fantastic. Hopefully, on your next dive, you can record his song to compare with other humpbacks in the area. Fun fact: in addition to being an engineering whiz, Andre is quite the musician. Are you still writing music? Not for years. Dry spell. More like raising teenagers. This stuff. It's beautiful. Scandals. Oh, hmm. Ruby Wells here. Come on, you gotta take you back to the twenty fourth century. George and Gracie. Most of them, one more. Look at my shadow. Oh, this game is beautiful. I just love this stuff. Oh, something there. That was a big shot. Look at them. Dogfish. Sperm whale. That looks to be a sperm whale. 
I think I saw this bull from the sub. I wonder how far he's traveled. Once we have a reliable ID on him, I'll see if anyone has tracked him before. Nice. He's cooking. It's a bit of an ugly little park, right? Dolphins, isn't it? It's shallow. Don't get too jealous, folks. Just because I'm swimming with dolphins. <laughs> My grandmother always warned me that although they're cute, they can also be pranksters. And today, also very noisy. Can your AI parse through all those sounds? Not using this scanner. But I do have a new drone design that should be better at isolating the source of the sounds. Done. And maybe next time I can weigh in before on the number that we need to scan. <laughs> As I mentioned, the confidence model is complex. You just want to find the whales. Guilty. Hey, Marai, I'm seeing alerts on the South Buoy if you want to pull them down. Okay. Let's see what mysteries this buoy unlocks. Buoy? What's that? Whale shark. Shark whale? Zonk lamb? fish.
Haha, <laughs> cooler! Click in there. Hey, I'm stuck. Don't get stuck. Come on. There you go. Beautiful. Hope it's really about there. Oh, I keep getting this behaviour thing, so I haven't got the sub yet. I'm always just chilling out in these games and not doing what I'm supposed to do, but what's the point? Oh, we're going to have a. Oh, a frame rate. Definitely a little bit there, but hardly a big deal. It doesn't really matter, does it? It's not going to affect my headshots. Hmm. What if we come and look for this stuff later? Shit. 
the container. Let's see, uh, what's the bit of uncharted? Definitely something not to cure the frame rate round here. This one. Yep. We can get this one, right? That's really good in the surround town. That's all right. Let's attack. Do you even know dolphins? I'm gonna feed them away. I'm gonna play with me. Uh, what is that sound? Did I break something? Uh, I've deployed acoustic modems to transmit from other sensors. For those of you who have no idea what he's talking about, he means we use sound to transmit data, so we can have Wi-Fi in the ocean. Impressive. What kind of bandwidth do we get? Eh, like 1990s dial-up. <laughs> Fun alert. Looks like some young dolphins are having a play date. Invite them to play. Hey guys, can I take a turn? Oh wow. You don't 
see that every day. At least I don't. Frankly, neither do I. too close to be outside the research zone. One of the waypoints went down. Do you think that's related? Yeah, probably. Red light must mean a serious alert. Yeah, dead battery. <laughs> Whoa! Octopus! I think it went in that cave. I'd like to go in that cave. It's quite good the way they've used the uh, track. To... Let's be real. There's no way I'm not squeezing through here to follow that octopus. We'll definitely want to practice diver rescue at some point. Well, maybe. Mirai, please be careful. Oh. Hey there. Sorry to spoil your hiding place. Hello, who's watching? Everyone's coming in. Do you do 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 Right, where are we going? Over here. Oh, I love games like this. Good, yeah. Scanned loads of these fish already because you can see if we just scanned them. There's still more to find though, this is only just one level, one location. I thought I'd uh, stream it as I was playing this Easter. I just. The internet's really quite good here where I am now, so. Oh, oh, oh you can swim up and down. Biochemical emittance okay. This whole area. Because of me. Not because of me, but because I configured the sensors to detect stress in the coral population. 
That's the line from Babylon 5. Okay, let's find out what's causing that stress. Mirai, please collect biosamples from any of the distressed corals. Happy to oblige. For those watching, these sensors help us understand what leads to resiliency in coral so we can help breed it into other species. Need some coral. That's beautiful, right? Where's the next one? There must be. I love it. Right there. Oh, there's one down there. I bet I'll find out there's swim up and down buttons anyway. I can see the colour of it, it's slightly different. Is that right? Done. Mirai, sperm whales. And they must be your part because I have a tag signal that is definitely ours. Pushing the waypoint. On my way. I'm hoping to reconnect with the sperm whale family, whom I have been tracking for years. I'm excited to check in on our mother-to-be. You yell shark, and we got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. Mommy whale has delivered. Oh, Everyone say hi okay. to her beautiful one-ton baby girl. Is she okay? Right. Shh. She's nursing. I just wish all of you could be here for one second. <sighs> Amazing. You can milk. That is the it's end of our stream. Whales and mammals are really little fish. Remember, we need you. All of us down here. My family used to go to the beach every summer. For me, that was my favorite 
thing to do all year long, hearing the seagulls, the sound of the ocean pounding on the beach. For me, that was just grounding and relaxing and fascinating all at the same time. The physicality of the ocean is one of the things that, as a kid, attracted me the most. That no thrill of just having that ocean energy push me along. You could just ride all day. There was no lift tickets. There was no fees to get into the ocean. When I describe to people what it's like to dive on a coral reef, they're like, oh, I never thought about that. They've never had a shark swim right beside them. Look them in the eye and give them a little fright for a second before they realize that the shark just wonders what I'm doing, just like I wonder what the shark is doing. I started free diving. So when I think of diving, I really think of free diving. Like, this is what whales do, right? Take a big breath of air, and they hold that oxygen inside their body. This ability to free dive down to where the scuba divers were, swim around and come back up was just so free, nothing on, no equipment. I just love that, it made me feel like a fish. When I did my first submersible dive, I realized it wasn't just that I was meant to be out on ships, I was supposed to be in the bottom. I don't think anyone has ever measured endorphins in submarines, but I can tell you they're probably through the roof. The first time I was in a submarine, I saw that life down there and 50 new questions popped into my brain that wouldn't have come up because it was this immersive experience and I just felt it. When you're in a submarine and you're looking at these magical environments, you're overwhelmed by this sense of wonder, you're humbled by this feeling of there's so much I don't know about the world, and you're stimulated to figure out how this all works together. I'm a marine biologist. I'm someone who studies the ocean from as many angles as I can. When my kids ask me what I do for a living, I tell them that I'm an explorer. I'm an aquanaut. I dive down to the bottom of the ocean and I see things that people have never seen before. How lucky am I to be able to share this amazing habitat with the rest of the world? What the hell is on the little PlayStation 4? Want to drive. Oh, let's go. Let me draw from Sino. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ich bin ein Teil. Oh, ich bin ein Teil. Ich bin ein Teil. Ich bin ein Teil. Wow, 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 really. I'm sure we've got each other that really loud to be there. Yeah, I'm not sure we've got each other that really loud to be there. Just carry on black. Trophy, high fidelity. in the face, but you know, that's not what we're here for. Come on, come. For checking in. Hey, Andre. Nice dive. <coughs> How are you feeling? Oh, I'm a bit tired, but I can't wait to get back out. Can you believe we found the family on the first dive? And they have a new baby girl. I know. Well done. Feeling settled in the sun. Has everything tested out? <sighs> Fabulous. The overhead speakers sound great. Glad I brought my tunes. This solo subtest makes me nervous. We're definitely fitting it out for two pilots next time. Jealous? Okay, you found me out. <laughs> you can drive next time. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. So, I have something I know you'll want to see. It's what the live stream saw of A12 and her baby. I didn't think you expected her to deliver so soon, though. I thought she had more time given her weight, but it was hard to know for sure. Hmm. What's the hmm about? Just noting her low weight. Also wondering when you'll find the rest of her pod. Maybe they were diving. I'll find them. Hey, I was thinking we should name the baby whale Andrea. She has your kind eyes. And my bald head. <laughs> no, I'm putting her in the sim as A17. Ah, oh, you're so sentimental. Hey, where's Arena? Probably in the head throwing up. Seriously? No, seriously, what's she working on? She's reading a brief about that deep sea mining impact study. Okay, I definitely don't have time to get into that with you. I gotta call my sister. No problem. Send Ren my best. I will.
Okay, boys and girls, one more day. As a child, I had no idea how important the ocean is. That a great majority of life on Earth is in the sea. That the greatest diversity of life is in the sea. My name is Sylvia Earle. I'm a scientist, an oceanographer, an ocean explorer. I spent years at sea aboard ships and thousands of hours under the sea. I've seen things others have not. If others could see what I've witnessed, they would know how much the ocean has changed, and they would know why caring for the ocean matters to everyone, everywhere. The ocean is Earth's life support system, generating most of the oxygen in the atmosphere, capturing much of the carbon dioxide produced by human actions. The ocean is the planet's living blue heart. Every creature has a story. Everyone, whether you're looking at a little crab, or a starfish, or a shark. If people stayed on the shore and never got underwater, how would we ever know that fish, that they have communities, they have faces? Their importance as fellow citizens, as cultures, as amazing creatures that we can learn from. There's a lot of water we now know elsewhere in the solar system and elsewhere in space. But to have a, a liquid ocean with frozen polar areas, it's taken four and a half billion years to shape the world in a way that is favorable to humankind. It's taken us about four and a half decades to significantly unravel systems. No ocean, no life. No ocean, no us. We are still live streaming and I'm messing about on my phone. Okay, well, anyone was watching, or anyone now that gets around to watching this, buy this game, it's only 14 quid, it's awesome. And I love games like this. And thanks to Eli Media and the people who made it for just putting games like this out there because you don't get enough of them. We need more endless oceans, we need more Aquarius holidays, and we need more Beyond Blues. Absolutely. Take care, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe.